Hey, what's going on YouTube? BD Kane 721. Happy Monday morning. Brand new week. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I certainly had a lot of fun watching NCAA basketball this weekend. It kind of went by pretty quickly, so now I'm back here Monday morning. Brand new week, brand new video. I've got a special one today. I received in the mail from PSA my 20 card submission that I dropped off with them at the Burbank Card Show and uh, really excited to open this. I got it back, uh, as you can see here, got it back on the 20th, which was, what, last Thursday or something, and dropped it off on the 16th of February last month. So it only took 33 days for PSA to get it back to me. So I'm pretty happy about that. I know a lot of people talk about turnaround time and things with PSA, like in, in that category but i have experienced some really good turnaround times when i've done it this way this is the sixth time that i have done it in this fashion where i've dropped it off with psa at a show uh, and it's uh, one time at the national and then every other time has been here in southern california at one of the shows like burbank or um the long beach expo so let's get into this. There's 20 cards. Excited to do this. Oh, by the way, guys, don't forget about my contest that's happening this week. You've got pretty much till the end of Wednesday this week to get your videos in. I know I've, I've received, I think, seven or eight so far. So hopefully everybody can get their videos in. So I've got the um, good old PSA information there. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to see if I can figure out which is the back, which is the front here before I open it. Okay, so there's the front. So the back is here. Now, there's 20 cards in this order. Uh, this is probably the biggest order I've ever done. I don't remember doing an order any bigger than this. I think I've done 10 or 15 card orders before, but uh, this is certainly the biggest order. So I'm really excited. Let's get into this. I've got some cards. I'm gonna shift the order around a little bit so that I can show the cards in kind of an order that I'd like to show them. Uh, if you remember, there were there's a rainbow of Machado cards in here that uh, will be fun to see and then that's a that's a good size card there I'm hoping that's a good one got a Steph Curry there Michael Jordan so here are all the looks like these are all the uh, Machado cards I'll show those last I think that'll be fun to show them last I'm sorry about this 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 one might go a little bit long um, might go a little bit long on the video, so I do apologize for that, guys. So here, actually, you know what? Well, no, I'll show the Machado cards last. Why not? Here's one right here that really was a card that I just wanted to get graded and, and try to sell it. This is a uh, Francisco Alvarez 2023 Tops Chrome. I think this is the Magenta Speckle. Uh, Rookie card of his, and I know there's a lot of people out there that like him a lot as far as a rookie go for as far as a rookie for the Mets. Got a mint nine. That's what I expected on that. So as I've as I said in my pre-PSA submission video, I'm really not expecting anything really huge here. Uh, there were no upcharges on any of this stuff, so that tells me that nothing really got graded high. Um, I'm expecting mostly nines. Uh, here's a Tom Brady from 2019 Prism Draft Picks, numbered out of 99. Uh, this one I fully expect a 9 on. I don't think the centering is all that well from left to right, um, and it might even get knocked down to an 8 if there was something I missed on it. Yep, so I got the 8 on that. So most likely this card, because I bought this at the Long Beach Expo, I don't know, maybe a year ago, a year and a half ago, and it wasn't graded, but it was in a it was in a case 
of cards that were all graded and this was one of the few raw cards in there so i'm assuming that the dealer probably had it graded and broke it out so that's most likely what i'll end up doing to it but thought it was good enough to maybe get a nine i'll save that one for last maybe that one too here's a juan soto 2023 tops uh, finest gold mini diamond this is one of those special i guess cards that you get in some of the special boxes that were released numbered out of 50 gem 10 very nice love that card obviously soto's in the padres uniform but got a 10 out of it very cool bought that at the del mar show put that up on the stand where it belongs all right, Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, this is a 19, what is it? Well, I, don't, I forget, 1992-93 tops or 1992 tops. One of his rookie cards. Now, I have this card in an SGC slab as a 10. I have probably about 10 others because back in the very beginning when I was getting back into the hobby back in 2010, I bought a bunch of boxes of this stuff from a from somebody who was selling it at a yard sale or someplace and picked out the best one sent that into sgc got a 10 so now i just send another one in to see if i can get a 10 out of this Ooh, an eight wow okay so i definitely missed something on this card the centering is really well so it must be something something else so anyway not a great grade there a little disappointing but that's all right Let's move on to Michael Jordan, 90, let's see what this is, I forget, 1997 Flare Showcase, this is row three, um, one of those cards that has different variations to it, and it's row one, two, and three, that sort of stuff, but I thought this was in pretty good shape, maybe get a nine out of it, oh, got an eight on that one too, all right, difficult grader today, still looks great though like it in the slab these cards are pretty cool these 1997 flare showcase cards all right not too great so far let's see what we got here steph curry from 21 i believe no 2020 sorry panini donruss press proof purple um, i think the only reason why i graded this is it's numbered out of uh, 199 just thought it was a good looking card it was numbered well centered got a 10 nice all right very nice card. Got a 10 on that. Not a high dollar value card, but just a, always fun to have a Steph Curry in the collection as a 10. All right, what else are we moving on to? All right, a couple of home run challenge cards. These are both Machado home run challenge cards. Uh, both of them were double down home run challenge cards which means that uh, they're numbered a little lower and they came straight from top so i broke i took them out of the little holder they sent them to sent them to me in and decided to send them in got a 10 nice that's just a cool card that's a cool card for the for the pc right there just to have something like that in the pc let's see if the other one got a 10 too this was from, let's see, one was from, this one's from June, this one's from April. Let's just flip it around. Got a 10, very cool. So a couple of 10s on those, that's really nice. A couple of Mike Trout cards from uh, Finest, I believe, or Bowman's Best. Which one was this? This was Finest, yeah. So a couple of Finest cards. I think I have... Another finest card already, PSA slabbed in a nine, so I was hoping to get nines in these as well. Yep, got nine on that. Very nice. And then the other one is the blue version. That was the green version. We got the blue version here. Got a nine as well. Was expecting that 100%. There was a couple of issues I was concerned on both of those cards, but getting nines, not too bad. All right. So let's move on to the more fun stuff. Here is a ninth, or sorry, 2003 um, Peyton Manning card. Now, the story behind this is that I bought this in a collection uh, 
I forget which collection it was. I can't, I can't really give you the history about it. I know it was a it was part of a collection back in 2010, 2011 time frame. And it happens to be numbered out of 100. Um, and it does have issues on it. I, I knew that it wasn't going to gem up when I sent it in. But since it was numbered out of 100, the PSA pop was zero for this particular variation. This is the extra points green variation from 20, uh, 2003 Playoff Prestige. Um, when I looked at it back last month, it, there was nothing on the pop report for this one. There's a purple version as well, numbered at 100. That had a, a couple of cards graded. So I thought, why not be the first one to send it in? It looks great on the front. Did have a couple of issues on the back, and it got an 8. So that probably knocked it down a couple of pegs. But this card looks a lot better than an 8 from the front. But from the back, you can see the edges are kind of mangled up a little bit couple corners are a little there's a little whiting on a couple corners but kind of a neat card though it's numbered out of 100 your mint eight and then i bought this card this tatis auto at the national in atlantic city so 2020 finest fernando tatis junior auto orange refractor from finest i think a nine all day if this gets anything less than a nine, I'll be I'll be very disappointed. Oh, it got a ten. Nice, very cool. Love that. That's awesome. I wasn't expecting a ten on this. There was a couple of things I was worried about, but hey, that's awesome. Grader was very nice to me, so that's gonna go up on the stand. Oops. All right, last set of cards here. Last lot of cards because they all go together. These are, there's, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. This is the rainbow collection I have of the Machado 2020 Topps Chrome Black. So I'm just going to order them by the serial number. 199, here's 25, 99, and here's the base. Okay. So we've got the base all the way through the rainbow, but we don't have the one of one. I'm still looking for it. I don't even know if it's out there anywhere, but this is the base from Topps Chrome Black, and it got a gem 10. Very cool. Now, all of these cards were purchased either through eBay or blowout forums or any other location that I was able to get them. Um, I didn't pack pull any of these. I'm expecting them to all be, I was expecting them to all be nines. They were all looked in good shape, at least to get nines. Anything less than nines, I will be disappointed, but kind of understand it's going to look great as a, as a rainbow. If I could find that one of one, it would be fantastic. Here's the refractor. Number to 199. I'm just going to flip them around. Gem 10. Very cool. These cards are just so nice looking. I am a big fan of Topps Chrome Black. They're just very expensive to buy. So I, I don't really buy too many of them. That's nice. Gem 10 on that. This is number to 75. I forget which one this is. The blue refractor is number to 75. Gem 10. So that's a good sign that these cards were in good shape when I got them and the grader has been pretty nice with them so far. I, I'm expecting at least a couple of nines in here. Let's see. This is the gold version. And that got a 10 as well. Very cool. Got four left. We got the, that was the gold. Well, I had it out of order. This is the green. Number to 99. Mint nine. All right. So there's my first nine. That's okay. I was, uh, I'm was i completely fine with nines in this little run here. Not the 10 on the gold. Now, these are the three, three big ones as far as I'm concerned. You've got the orange, number to 25. This is actually 25 of 25. Orange refractor, mint nine. Not too bad. And then the two biggies. We've got the uh, magenta, 
think this is the magenta number to 10. Gem 10, sweet. Very nice. All right, now the last card in the order. This was the card that started it all for me in this in this little rainbow. I was able to get this on blowout forums, just kind of randomly looking around for cards and came across a, a post where a guy was selling this. And I thought, why not? I'm so surprised that I was able to get it in front of all the other Machado collectors out there. I fully expect this to be a nine. There's a little issue here in this corner and this corner. This is the card of this entire order that if it gets less than a nine, I will be disappointed. Um, and I'm kind of bracing myself for that. Numbered out of five, let's see. Mint nine, nice, all right. Yeah, I figured it wasn't a 10, but a mint nine I will take every day on a card number to five. All right, guys, so that's it for the order. I would say pretty successful. Definitely some, some challenging ones in there to deal with, uh, but all in all, got some tens on some really cool cards and nines on pretty much everything else. That's it for today, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. If you've if you've hung on this long, I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you probably on Thursday morning for opening day of baseball. Get your uh, video responses in. Join my contest. Talk to you then. See you.